Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Today we will talk about advanced table merge with fuzzy logic in Power BI. If you are new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified. Let's check it out. Here I have three tables. In transactions table, I have segment country and product wise units sold and price with dates. In my discount tables I have discount band and percentage discount. If you notice in this segment column, there are spelling mistakes and it is written in lower cases. But in my transactions table, these are in proper form. I want to bring the discount band and discount here by using merge query, it cannot be used into my key to join tables. In discount table two, they are written in its short forms. Like for channel partners, it is mentioned partners or there is hyphen between mid market. So let's see what options are available and solve this table merge with both the discount tables one by one with different approaches. First of all, click on merge query and with transactions table selected as first table, select the first discount table. Now I need to join with combination of segment country and column. It is very important to select these columns in a proper order because it has to generate a key combination to join. Join type is left outer join and then click on this option, fuzzy matching. Here I have multiple options. In that, we have ignored case, matching by combining text part, or to set the matching threshold between 0 to 1. The default value is 0.8. There are options to use transform file as well. Let's try with default for our first example and see how it works. Then we'll see other options. Here I need only discount band and discount percentage column. Let's verify if it is able to get correct values for the combinations. For Government Germany and Product Montana, it is showing medium discount band. Let's verify in discount table one. And yes, it is getting the correct value, even if there is spelling mistake in segment column of discount table, and it is in lower case. Now, I want to check the M code from advanced editor and want to know how it performed this merge. It is using a new function here, table.fuzzy nested join. Normally, it will be table.nested join. In its arguments, it is using the column combinations to generate keys with segment country and products. Join kind is left outer join and ignore case true and ignore space true. All right, let's move to the next example and this time join with the discount table two, which is segments in its short forms. I will remove these steps. In my discount table two, ignore cases or partial match may not work. So, I will use a transform file, which will have a mapping between given values and the required values. We saw that there was option to use transform file and fuzzy matching. Let's see how it works and what else I need to do in this merge operation. Here again, I am selecting the column combinations and inside fuzzy matching, I have selected my transform file. It is mandatory to keep column names as from and to in your transform file. Here again, I will expand it to select only discount band and discount. Let's verify again our values. For channel partners from Canada and product Paseo, it is showing medium discount band. And in my discount table too as well, I can see the same values. Even segment is mentioned as partner instead of channel partner. Here you can see it is able to get the correct discount for segment small business while there is a hyphen in between small business. One important thing in approach is, if you are using this optional similarity threshold option, be aware that one is for exact match and zero is to match all the values with each other. By default is 0.8. You can disable loads for all these tables because they are no longer required. We now have discount band and discount in our transactions table itself. Inside advanced editor, you can see it has added only one additional argument, which is transform file. I can now close and apply and use my transactions file for further analysis and visualizations. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting solutions in Power BI.